Hi, and welcome to The No Experience. I'm Shireen No, and today we're going to talk about the safety in Korea for foreigners. So if you're thinking about visiting South Korea, this is the video for you. So let's get right into the video. So lately I've had a couple people ask me questions about visiting South Korea and what it's really like if you're a foreigner. I thought this might make a good video to talk about today. And obviously right now nobody is traveling to South Korea or anywhere really because of coronavirus. Tell me something I don't know. But because there are vaccines coming out now, probably eventually people are going to be able to start traveling again and many people are going to be interested in coming to South Korea. So. I'm sure that you have heard some things about Korea and the safety and wondering if it's actually true, getting the perspective from an actual foreigner living here. So I thought this would be a good topic today. The first thing I want to say is the safety in South Korea makes me really uncomfortable, like really uncomfortable. <laughs> so South Korea is actually incredibly safe to visit. It's incredibly safe to live here too. But it makes me really uncomfortable. As an American who's used to certain things that we do to protect ourselves, especially as a woman, right? Like, okay, for example, in America, would I leave my purse in a cafe and use the bathroom? Don't be stupid, you moron. <laughs> would you leave your wallet in the middle console of your car? No. Would you leave your bike unattended at the subway station, not chained, all day until you came home? No! Okay, you ladies, would you walk down a dark alley alone at night? No! <laughs> These are all things that you can expect to see in South Korea. <sighs> Y'all, it makes me so uncomfortable to see. Okay, the first time that I visited Korea a couple years ago, I went to Seoul with my daughters. And I remember walking around at night, like Myeongdong, which is kind of a really hip area for shopping and food and stuff like that. And I remember, and it's really busy. It's pre-coronavirus, but it was super busy place. It's really crowded. I remember seeing a woman with a stroller and she stopped in front of like this, um, I think it was Innisfree, like a, a makeup, skincare store. She left her stroller in front. Not such a weird thing maybe, but on the stroller was her Louis Vuitton handbag. Unattended. <laughs> I don't even know if there was a baby in that thing because I was too shocked to look. It's just, I was just like, what the is going on? And I thought that would be the only time I'd see something like that, but it wasn't. And if you come to Korea to visit, it will not be the only time you see things like that. And it makes me so uncomfortable. Like I felt personally responsible to hover around her stuff to make sure no one would take it. And the problem with that is that being a foreigner, they probably think, oh my God, this foreign woman, this tall white American is hovering around my Louis Vuitton bag. And they probably were like, she's thinking about stealing it. And instead, I'm trying to make sure no one else is going to take it. Oh, so many times in cafes that I go to to get coffee and work on my homework, I will see people all the time leave their laptop and their wallet and their phone on the table and go to the bathroom. Koreans just don't understand how bizarre that is and how stupid it would be anywhere outside of Korea. I can't help but notice it. I can't help feel like I need to be responsible and make sure no one's gonna touch their stuff. But the thing is, is no one's going to touch their stuff. Korea has one of the lowest crime rates in the world. And that's probably contributed to the fact that there's CCT cameras everywhere. They have no guns and the people are just really respectful of each other. So 
you know, uh, you know, I was talking about the bikes and okay, so just to prove my point, yesterday on my way home, I take Korean classes here in South Korea. As I was walking home and I took these pictures that I'm showing you now of these bicycles, unattended, not chained, just randomly left here to prove my point to y'all that you will see this anytime, anywhere. You would never do this in America, even if it was chained. Y'all are still running the risk of it being stolen, and you know I'm right. And you know, I was talking about the wallet left in the car. Okay, I'm from Oregon. If you've watched my videos before, you, you know you've heard me talk about this before. There was a time where I left like 50 cents in the little compartment in my car, and someone broke into my car in the daylight to steal the 50 cents out of the center console in my car. Dude, that is harsh. No. Everyone in America knows you never leave anything of value that you can visibly see in your car. You want it to look like there has never been a soul in that car. So no one is tempted to take anything. But here in South Korea, oh my God, my husband has left his expensive Canon camera and all its equipment in the front seat of the car. He always, <laughs> always leaves his wallet in the center console of the car like all the time <laughs> and it makes me so uncomfortable y'all you you think that living in a safe society especially coming from america we think that we're relatively safe but we do take obvious precautions in everything we do because we know it is not safe to live in america but you come to a country like this where you to bring all of your immediate um, precautions and you see other people, everyone around you not take the same ones, it makes you super uncomfortable. Like you'd think that it would be freeing and liberating and it, I mean, it should be, but it's not. I, I feel like this inner, inner turmoil every time I see it, like I just wanna scream to them, what are you doing? Y'all, especially women, do not be afraid to travel to South Korea. Don't be afraid to travel alone to South Korea. There's no, almost no chance of any problem. You are coming to one of the most safest countries in the world. But don't be surprised if you feel the same way I do, which is, I, which is that unease, that uncomfortableness when you are shocked to see some of the, the things that you'll see because it's a wonderful country. The people are wonderful. You just don't have to worry about having someone steal your wallet on a busy subway in Seoul because that is something you will also see. You will see people with their backpacks on their actual backs. And I've so many times seen the zipper unzipped and their wallet is just hanging there. There's been two times I can remember where I actually tapped the, the young woman on the shoulder and told her her, her wallet was about to fall out. I still, to this day, I still put my purse in front of me everywhere I go, especially someplace busy, and I put my arm on it like I'm protecting Jesus. <laughs> Maybe you will feel completely liberated and refreshed. I still feel uncomfortable. Anyway, I, um, I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and, and hit the bell notification so you actually get notified when I upload a video. And if you'd like to support the channel so that I'm able to continue making these videos and show you more of South Korea, you can do so at patreon.com slash the no experience. So until next time, my friends, stay classy, YouTube. <laughs> Bye.